Believe it or not, this is the same bird. And the snowy egret can tuck that neck in like a hide -a bed or uncork it. When his neck is sprung, he stands two feet tall, two-thirds the size of his cousin, the great egret. Snowy egrets have a patch of yellow at the base of their bill. And unlike any other heron, they wear golden slippers. Not as dainty as Cinderella's glass slippers, I guess, but pretty glitzy and glam for a heron. Not to mention more suited to his balletic moves than glass could be. Like its cousin, the great egret, the snowy was almost undone by its own gauzy beauty. In the late 19th century, fashionable American ladies paid top dollar for egret feathers on their hats. The diaphanous breeding plumage fetched $32 an ounce, twice the price of gold at the time. Egrets and some herons were hunted almost to extinction on this continent until conservation organizations were born to work for laws protecting the birds. By now, the snowy egrets are again common on coastal waterways. They visit some inland waterways regularly, but mostly they prefer the sea. Most birds don't have binocular vision like ours. Their eyes are set on opposite sides of their head, and if one eye is pointed east, the other one's aimed west. So this snowy egret fishes canted to one side. He's cocking his head to get an eye closer to the water and closer to his prey. Is it considered sushi if it's still wriggling when you swallow it? 